the reason I got sexy vegan tattooed on my face and my chest because both are great things and I want people to know who I am instantly just looking at me. Hey, hold, hold, hold on. By that logic, you might as well tattoo insane person on your face because that's what you are. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Pete. And today we're going to talk about the best YouTuber of all time. No, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about sexy vegan. He's got the blue hair. Blue eyebrows are because blue is my favorite color. It's gorgeous. My mom, she doesn't like the face tattoos. It look He's got the face tattoos. My mom, she doesn't like the face tattoos. It looks like a weirdo. He's ready to go. The reason I got sexy vegan tattooed on my face and my chest because both are great things and I want people to know who I am instantly just looking at. These tears right here are for the suffering of the over 70 billion animals in cages so small they cannot move. First of all, that's the worst, most asymmetric star I have ever seen. It looks like a five-year-old could do a better job. Did he do these tattoos himself? Like star is superstar that I'm gonna achieve, and it's for pleasure. And it's for pleasure. <laughs> it's a star that I'm going to achieve. And for pleasure. My mom, she doesn't like the face tattoos. It looked like a weirdo. What? How dare your mom say that? And may I say, you look fantastic in blue. I'm rocking blue as well. It's the best color to wear, clearly. Finally, someone is strong enough to speak out on these issues. Stupid moms. Don't let me dance naked on the street. Be a big movie star like Tom Cruise, but now with the face tattoos, I'm more distinct. I'm gonna be myself, and people have to like me for me, and that's all there is to it. I'm not gonna conform. Oh my God, he is literally me. <laughs> An exaggeration of all in my entire being. <laughs> well, Raquel says her older brother, Sexy, has been banned for life from YouTube and Craigslist. Thinks he's on par with God. Wait, are they? T is Dr. Phil talking about me right now, or what's happening? This is okay. So, Sexy Vegan has a YouTube channel. Apparently, uh, you upload one video on YouTube, and you quite qu qualify as a as a YouTuber. I got so fucking angry earlier. Because I was, I was in front of Hyde for a little bit, but it wasn't really going, so... Hey guys, welcome to my new uh, update vlog. Just, uh, got so angry earlier. Clearly we have a lot to learn from Sexy Vegan on how to do YouTube properly. The stylistic choice of filming it in the wrong aspect ratio. People just don't do these bold moves anymore. He's not conforming, guys. This is it. This is a quintessential YouTuber of all time. And has even tattooed his face. How are we not talking about the eyebrows? Oh, no. For the record, I don't call my brother sexy. I call him SV. Just like- Wait. What is SV? Simply a term for Sandy Vagina. Damn, she's a savage. Last year, my brother looked like this handsome guy, but when I've seen his recent transformation- He transformed from a dog. I describe my brother as lazy, unmotivated, crazy. He's a danger to the public. Damn, that edit really makes it so intense. Have you guys heard of PewDiePie? He is a danger to all the ethnicities. My mother has two rules for my brother. Don't get arrested. Don't do drugs. He can't seem to follow either of them. I feel like everyone knows some person like this to some extent. Just this kid that was way too spoiled as a child and just problematic and no one really wanted to deal with it. So just kept giving him whatever he wants and then <laughs> it's just turned into this monster. It's wonderful. I love this. I live for this. So, uh, Sexy Vegan or Hans de Bartolo also wrote a book uh, called, before his transformation, called The Adventures of Fargo Lefty. Meet Fargo Lefty. Fargo is a handsome young vegan writer in his mid-twenties who comes from a wealthy family and lives in his own home. His dad bought him. Fargo has some very cool vegan friends. One is a rich drug. Honestly, I kind of want to read this. <laughs> My name is Sexy Vegan. I got my name legally changed to Sexy Vegan. Hans no longer fits me. I think it's a really good move to change your name to Sexy Vegan. And especially tattooing it on your face. 
Especially if you haven't already in the past three years changed identity three or four times from Hans de Bartolo to vegan Hans to sexy vegan Justin Bieber Charlie Sheen project. Yeah. Says so you can follow his whole transformation online. It's all there and it's the saddest thing I've ever seen. And also hilarious. But also hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. I once was down to 1.3% body fat. The beautiful vegan messiah. When I go out, everyone stares at me because I wear a Speedo-esque outfit and I'm exotic like a Lamborghini SV. I love walking around in my Speedos because putting clothes on is like putting a tarp over a Lamborghini, which makes no sense and I get for that all the time. It just doesn't make sense that people don't want to see my naked body because why wouldn't people see a Lamborghini? My logic is 100% flawless and I just get sh for that all the time. When I go into a grocery store, I'm followed around by the security, which is so annoying. What is his lines? I've watched a, a lot of his videos. He speaks so differently here. I get sh that all the time. It's like the producer just saying like, Hey, can you sound more angry? Wearing my Speedo, security will come up and they'll say, sir, you have to dress more. And I'll be like, well, a hot chick could wear this outfit. It's, uh, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, sexy vegan. Your logic is always flawless. And I don't mean to impose, but I don't think women can go around wearing that. That's what a normie would say. Finally, we have someone brave like sexy vegan. That isn't afraid to talk about controversial topics like sexism and then how it just doesn't unfavor women it unfavors men as well okay why can girls go around topless with their nipples exposed and guys can't it's total black shit so i get kicked out of so many stores i've been arrested 15 times 15 damn brother Damn. I can make it on my talents. I have several YouTube videos. I've been kicked off of YouTube channels. I got terminated for over sexual strikes. In case you're wondering what kind of diet this man is on, he made a video and it's the most repulsive thing. He has like these fake fish patties with vegan ass on it. And to be fair, vegan ass is actually really good, all right? Don't knock it unless you try it, but man, with the vegan ace, vegan ace is really good. Tastes just as good as regular mayonnaise. Damn it, I actually agree with him. <laughs> Mega three minutes All here. he eats is crispy chicken and fishless fillets. And he doesn't even cook them, he microwaves them. Why do I care about someone else's diet? <laughs> my main problem is my mom. She does not believe in me. She's very pessimistic. All right, you get the point. Sexy Vegan is having a problem with his mom and his family. He goes to Dr. Phil and finally he appears on Dr. Phil and this is the result. I am the beautiful vegan messiah. It's a song. I didn't say I was, and she knows it. I was just like my dad, okay? Ten luxury cars. My dad told me I had the same name as him until I legally changed it. My mom did not bail me out of jail when she knew I was innocent. What is he saying? I call it. It's not a song. My dad I have the same name as. He had ten cars, and my mom did not bail me out of jail. I'm liberating over 70 billion Pigs in cages so small they cannot move for years, okay? I work. My mom's a sociopathic piece of <laughs> I have the highest score in Hot or Not history. I got 9.9 .9 out of 10 after 327 women raided me. Let's see your talent. Whoa, Let's that's a lot of women. Talent, you ugly piece of <laughs> Okay, stop. Hey, hey, look at me. What is he doing twerking at Dr. Phil? <laughs> I got 9.9 .9 okay, out of 10 after 327 hey, hey, women me. raided me. Let's see your talent. Let's see your talent. What's your talent, huh? Huh? What kind of talent do you have, Dr. Phil, huh? You're not going to come out here and use that kind of language in front of my audience. And audience, I apologize. That is childish awesome. and immature behavior. And uh, now I get to leave. Yes, you do. No. Don't <laughs> let the door hit you in the ass. <laughs> Oh my god, what a savage. I didn't realize Dr. Phil was such a gangster. So then a, a couple uh, months later, he returns to apologize to Dr. Phil for his crimes. 
of twerking on stage. My appearance on Dr. Phil was a total disaster, a lost, a lost opportunity. The way I behaved was wrong. My mom's a sociopathic piece of My biggest regret is yelling at Dr. Phil. You need to look at me. Yeah, I agree. If I had those face tattoos, my biggest regret would also be yelling at Dr. Phil, definitely. That would, I totally understand how that is your biggest regret at 100% and not your face tattoos. Yelling at Dr. Phil, that's like a hundred times worse. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad we got that out of the way because I, I was worried he wasn't gonna acknowledge it. I hated seeing myself yell at my mom. I'd be homeless without my mom. I disrespected everyone, I was, I was a I was the I said a different strokes for different folks. One of my songs inspired by Dr. Phil, Different Strokes for Different Folks. Different Strokes for Different Folks. He said it on the show and it stuck with me. Oh really? What an original song. What a, he really is to me, isn't he? He just steals everything. The answer is everyone's different. Do what you do. As long as you're not harming anyone, animals and insects too. I'm really sorry What's about up, man? last time. I really it's appreciate right. it. It's so nice of you to forgive me and have me back. Well, have a seat. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to have you back. So you, we don't need to see the rest. You kind of get the idea. Uh, Dr. Phil is like, well, if you care about animals, I love animals. So that means you're not that bad of a guy. And That kind of heart has got to be a good guy. At, at the core of his soul, so I said, you know, absolutely, bring him on. You guys should check out Sexy Vegan, uh, his YouTube channel. He definitely needs more subscribers because I feel like his ego is just not big enough that he could really benefit from uh, some more social media following. I think that could definitely be the best thing for him right now and not getting some actual psychiatric help from uh, experts like Dr. Phil, for example. Anyway, that's it for me. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and remember to... Be vegan and sexy, like me. What the fuck is that outro? Jesus. Pretty five with a six so win, taking over YouTube, trying to get like him. Bro, fist to the face, can you keep it with a pace and I'm never gonna switch? But can you do this? How's it going, bro? Gotta get it like this when you wanna hit a flow. Grinding like hope and I pop a top and never stop. Run up in the city and I'm never gonna flop. Tell me when to go, I'm like whenever. I'm done with this, pass the mic to Edgar.